Shalom, shalom. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you the number one thing that stops people from receiving truth. Let's talk about it. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at an end them trenches handling that kingdom business. You may not know it, but biblically we are in the last days. And when the word talks about the last days, times of difficulty coming, you know, we're seeing that. And the Most High Yah has placed a strong delusion sent people a strong delusion because they receive not the love of the truth. You know, if you have pleasure in unrighteousness, you're going to be under a strong delusion. That's biblical. You know, Hasatan loves confusion. The Most High Yah tells us he's not the author of confusion. Hasatan wants you confused, complacent, and comfortable, and he will use your feelings in order to accomplish that. This is why I tell you, you know, you cannot adjudicate any matter based upon feelings. All matters must be adjudicated based upon facts, based upon the truth, okay? You have people out there that claim that they love the Most High Yah. They feel like they have a relationship with the Most High Yah. But the fact is, the word says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Man, feelings will be completely different than what the fact of the matter is. You know? You have people that say they know the most high. Swear you up and down. You're not about to tell me this and about to tell me that. But when you show forth evidence, they that say they know him and keep not the commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. You're dealing with somebody that's operating out of their feelings only. This is very important. Man, I, I, I've challenged a lot of Bible thumpers. A lot of religious Bible thumpers that I don't know whether it's reading comprehension or it's spiritual retardation. People will have all kind of feelings about worldly or Christian observances or holidays. Well, you know, I feel like, um, you know, uh, Christmas is a time for the family to get together and uh, to celebrate uh, the birth of, of baby Jesus in a manger and all of that. Like, I get what you're describing through your feelings. Does it change the fact that when we look at anywhere in the, anywhere in the Bible, you don't see that that holiday is commanded nor told how to keep. But the fact is, we're told not to follow the way of the heathen. Man, the, your feelings will keep you back from walking in truth. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Oftentimes, your feelings have to do with a lot of your stuff that's sinful and wicked and you justifying it. Okay? If you somebody that's not willing to keep the commandments, and we know that we should keep the commandments as that is truthful, it's lawful according to the Bible. Messiah kept, you know, the Sabbath. Your feelings will justify you not keeping it. Well, you know, uh, I go to church on, on, on Sunday and, and my pastor said, you know, according to our religion, our faith, that is the, uh, the day of rest. And, and I feel like you know, as, as this type of believer, whatever 32, you know, flavors of Baskin Robbins, you know, it, it's all feeling based. Ain't none of it factual. You know, 
when it comes down to, uh, you know, women feeling like they don't have to submit to men, this is what stops women from walking in truth. You got women out here that will argue up and down that they got a relationship with the most high y'all, but they don't have to submit to no man. It's, it's all feelings based. None of it is factual. You have people that, that love this chakras and energy and uh, they tell you that they're spiritually awoke and I'm in my divine this and that. And they will be playing with idolatry and based upon their feelings, they will be justifying this. Biblically, the truth is, it's idolatry. You know, there's so many different, uh, you know, let me, let's me let break it down on a, on a carnal level. Let's go, okay, you got people out there that feel like they are well off. They feel like they're well off, don't have nothing to worry about, have no need of living set apart. But the truth of the matter is, guess what? They might have less than $1,000 in their bank account, got a $30,000 car note, got a house with a mortgage payment that you don't own, and when you cancel uh, the amount of debt based upon the cash you have in hand or in savings, you're flat out broke. You might not feel like it, but you are. The truth is you are flat out broke. Here's another one. This is what stops a lot of a, a, a lot of men and women, you know, from being successful in relationships. You got men out there that feel like they don't have to work. And these men desire good women and they wonder why they keep getting a uh, low quality women because only a low quality woman will put up with a man that don't want to work. That's the truth. See, your feel once we start separating this stuff and, and put a put a hard line in the sand, you're gonna realize your feelings is what deceives you. Okay, I've been I've been telling on my business playlist. I've been telling people, hey, you need to start something for yourself. You need to set something up on the side. You may feel like your employer loves you and uh you may let these little uh these little uh, employee dinners and uh, appreciations go to your head and your boss is your friend and that's my girl and that's my guy and they would never. But the truth is, it's just business. The truth is, uh, if, if they need to make some cuts, who you think they gonna cut? They gonna cut the people at the bottom and that could be you. That's the truth. This is why I'm telling people, if you wanna free yourself from the system, you're going to have to receive truth. Here's another one. When you bring up an argument of homeschooling versus sending your kids to public school system, people will justify their own selfishness and use that as an excuse to why to send their kids off to these places where they're constantly getting shot up. Every year goes by, we see a, a public school system get shot up. When is the last time you've seen uh, uh, a kid that was homeschooled shoot up his own house? Exactly. You may feel like you care for your child, but the truth is you really don't. See, the most high y'all gave you a, he gave you a clear cut path. He didn't tell you to uh, hand your kids off to the heathen and let them train them up. Give your kids off to the Gentiles, let them train them up. No, he said, you train up your child in the way that they should go. Come on, man, you got, you have, when you talk about this strong delusion, you got people that have pleasure in unrighteousness. And this is why he sends them a strong delusion. You got people that feel like sex before marriage is okay. They feel like uh, you should be able to do that as long as you do it responsibly. Truth is, the Most High Yah doesn't permit that nowhere. Old or New Testament. I don't care if we're in the Torah or the or the uh, the letters of Paul. He don't permit that nowhere. Truth is, man, your feelings will be attacked by Hasatan to deceive you. You got a lot of people feeling like, man, they want to retire. They want to retire in their early 40s. You know, and they focus their life, oh, I got to retire by by this age and retire by this and do that. 
truth is, you can't find that nowhere in the Bible. You can't find that. And that be counted as, as righteousness. All of this stuff, okay, let me give you another one. I post videos on this channel of people talking about how they're struggling in this daytime and hour financially. Man, it is your feelings that will have you doing stuff you have no business doing. You got people, here we are, here we are mid-September, about to roll into all these heathen holidays. People been complaining year long about gas, about this, about that. Everything is high and we can't afford it and we struggling, okay? Your feelings will have you the day after Thanksgiving, if you keep them heathen holidays, have you in there spending money you don't have. You, you bought a brand new TV last year at Black Friday. And here you are again. Last year, it was a 75 inch. This year, they got 85 inches in there for $300. And you in there buying, you well, I feel like I can afford it. Feeling like you can afford something is not the fact, not the truth of the matter. That $300 that you could scrounge up to go feel like you could afford something could have went to some debt. That's the truth. People don't see, when you start talking like this, people really don't want, uh, people really don't want the truth. You find out people don't have a love for the truth. The most high y'all says, thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness and thy law is the truth. You gonna find out, you gonna find out your loved ones care more about their feelings than they do the truth. Especially the truth for the most high y'all. You gonna find out your own mama or daddy care more about the doggone, uh, their feelings than the truth of the most high y'all. Your own uh, brothers and sisters. I'm telling you, this is, don't, don't be surprised if you are led astray in your feelings. You have, okay, right now we're in a time frame where we got a, a generation of women that are running to that family court system, oh, left and right, but they get a feeling. They start talking to Hasatan just the way Eve did in the garden. Well, you know, uh, it was a sign, it was a sign from God for me to leave my husband. You can't find no example of that biblically where the Most High Yah told a woman to leave her husband. Can't find it. But because you felt it, you went and did it. And I got videos up on this channel. You can go to HL Talk That Thought on YouTube and realize that a lot of these women that have done that through their feelings, later on regret it. Man, he, he, was, a, he was actually a good man. And now I'm seeing it. I made him out to be a villain. I made him out to be bad. Now somebody else got him. That's your feelings versus facts. A lot of women suffer in their feelings. They, they, they suffer the tribulation of following their feelings instead of walking in truth. You know, the truth is the most high y'all birthed you out of your mother with a Johnson and some balls. And you wanna walk around here talking about my name, Brenda. That's feelings. That's feelings. This is why a lot of people struggle. That your feelings don't have no room. No, no. Your feelings don't deserve to be in the room with truth because they're gonna lead you astray. Every time. Every time your feelings will fail you. I've said the difference between uh being intellectual is not the same as uh, you know, spiritual wisdom is not the same as discernment. Most of y'all ministries kicking it, gun, barrel, straight. Bow.